just a quick video to show you how if um, in Google Chrome, there's an assignment set up to use Kami, which will let you um, edit um, PDF documents, which is super great. Uh, this is not possible if you're not using um, Chrome on a, on a computer. If you're using an iPad, this, this fancy ability to just type right in here won't work. So there are some workarounds for that, and I'll show you how to do that on an iPad now. Okay, here I am on my iPad, and I'm using the Schoology app, and I've gone ahead into the Grade 4 French uh, folder, and I can see the same assignment here, Listen and Identify the Suspect. So I'm going to click on that and click on View Attachments, and I can see there is the PDF. Now, there is no Cami button the way there is on Google Chrome, but if I click it, it'll load up here in a second. Now, there are a couple of things we can do here. Um, let me look around. So right here, I can go ahead and push the button at the top right hand corner, the arrow with a box, and I can um, choose mark up. And then I can scroll around and pinch and zoom with two fingers. And when I want to write on something, I click the button at the bottom that gives me my pens or highlighters or whatever. If you don't initially see the little floating pen on your screen, you just need to push the little pen tip at the very top right, and then it'll appear, and then you can click it. And I can um, I can use my Apple Pencil, I guess. Can I use my finger? Draw with the finger. There we go. So if you don't have an Apple Pencil, you can still do it with your finger. So I push these three dots, draw with finger, use a pen, circle, highlight. Um, what else can I do? I can, what's in here? I can add text. So if I wanted to write something, text. And I get a text box and I could write things. Just like that, I can highlight what I've written. If I have an Apple Pencil, that's great. Now, one thing to keep in mind is while you work on this, you're going to want to save it in your files. And you're, you'll need to save it in your files before you can submit it back to Schoology, but you'll want to save it in your files if you're not done working on it when you need to move on to something else. So to do that, we push this box with an arrow up here. Let me just minimize the um, highlighter just by dragging it out of the way. I'm going to push this box with an arrow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save to files with this button right here, save to files. And you can save it right on your iPad. It'll have a crazy name. Maybe give it an, uh, a different name. I think it was about this identifying the suspect. So I'll just call it suspect. There we go. And I'll say done. Don't forget to click save at the top right. Now that's saved to my files. Let's say I want to submit it back to Schoology. Let's say I'm finished. I'm going to say done over here. And oh, it's asking me, do I want to save it? Okay, well, I'll, better be safe. I'll save it again. Suspect, done, save. And uh, I'll go back to the assignment. And you can see there's a submissions button here. So I'll push that. And you can see that I haven't made any submissions yet. So I want to make a submission. And I'm going to push the plus button in the top right. And the way I can upload a file from the files um, app on my iPad is to submit from iOS app. So I'll go ahead and click that and you'll actually see it'll go right to files by default. And I think it's just showing you your most recent files. So I'll go ahead and I'll click on that. And it says you have selected suspect.pdf. Do you want to submit this file to your assignments? I'm going to say submit and it's uploading the media. Your submission has been added. I can see it's there. Perfect. And that's it. I can see what it looks like. If I click on it, it'll load it up. I'll be able to see it with all of the changes I made to the PDF. So that is one way of doing it. And if you have an Apple Pencil, it makes it even easier to do. Okay, I'm back over here. I'm logged in as a teacher and looking at the same assignment, I can see the test student has submitted something. Now when I click on it, it doesn't right away show me uh, the properly uh, edited PDF over here. So I just have to push this little button and download the file to my computer. Once it's downloaded, I can open it up 
and I can see the changes that they've made here. Just like that. And that is that.